Unong Yalam ka National People's Party Kwanrat ke Sangma Ulapan Bana Baya ka Kerteng Megalia Democratic Alliance Jangka Swarkar Sanrap En Penne Abit Tangba Kan Deino Ka Swarkar MDA Baar Haba Pen Bana Ya Gani Ha Kala Asngi Ublay Ka Riyat Tarik Ulubayar Arja Apulai U Kwanrat Ulaong Bakarai Ka Long Ban Penne Ya Ka Kerteng Jangka Kunhun MDA Ha Gani Ka Benta Baar Jangka Samoy Tarikam Namar Bagi Seng Sain Pertai Ki Balai Sanrap Langru Ki Dehi Ki Juo U Kwanrat Ulaya Thu Baya Ka Jingpa Menteri Ya Pereng Ki Seng Sain Pertai Ha Kaba Ka NPP Kan Yo Prangut Ki Menteri Arwut ki menteri na ka UDP, bat Markawi ka Shuki menteri, ka Letsha ka Bharatiya Janata Party, bat Hill State People's Democratic Party. And uh, the first decision that was taken in the meeting was to call this alliance as the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance 2, as 2.1, uh, 2.0 sorry, which is the second part of uh, the first MDA alliance. So all unanimously agreed that we should call this the MDA 2 as uh, the partners are the same and uh, the second uh, resolution we took was uh, that we have decided to also uh, elect the chairman uh, as uh, the chief minister will be the chairman of the MDA2 and that is uh, Conrad Sangma will be the chairman of that. Um, also uh, we have uh, uh, also decided that uh, in the cabinet uh, out of the 12 members that are there, uh, eight will go to the National People's Party, two will go to the UDP, one will go to the HSPDP, and one will go to the BJP. So that is the format of the uh, sharing of the portfolio, uh, the births, cabinet births. And out of these uh, 12 uh, uh, cabinet births, uh, four of them, including Chief Minister, will be from the Garo Hills region, and eight uh, of the Cabinet Ministers will be from the Khasi Jadhi Hills region. Uh, so this were the uh, this decision, of course, was not taken in the MDA, but I'm just informing you about the breakup that has been worked out with all the respective partners. Also, we have uh, passed a resolution within the party regarding the uh, candidature for the uh, for the speaker's post and the election. So the NPP has proposed a name uh, and have interested me to speak to the rest of the coalition partners to formalize the name. And once I have speak to the coalition partners and get their consent, uh, we will be announcing the name of the, uh, the candidate for the speaker's post. So that I mentioned it today. So the members have said that let the swearing in be completed tomorrow. Then once we sit again as a MDA, then the integrities of the common minimum program and coordination committee and other aspects will all be taken up.